Oh, we get Kamski. The FFL. Okay, we gotta try and beat him. Uh, let me see, he goes E4. Does he want open Sicilians? Let's see if he does. No, I guess he does. Don't think I want to play Sveshnikov against him. Oh, he goes for uh, the old school setup here. Air quality check, yeah, exactly. Wait a sec, now he goes to d4. Usually the knight goes to a3. So, like, if I play a normal setup, then I have a6 for free, but still white is a little bit better, so I guess why people don't play this as white is because I get d5, but that's maybe a little bit too... Yeah, maybe this is just a tad too dry. Should I go knight b4? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is a little bit dry. Oh, Asios is going? Good night. You did a hell of a job, as usual. Oh, Kamsky has five and a half, so it's probably not unhappy if, um, if he draws this one. Let's go bishop d6. Bishop d2 is a little bit, it's a little bit stiff, I would say. Let's go rook b8. Could potentially activate that rook. Oh, he goes takes and and then uh, bishop c3. Yeah, that's clever. It's a little bit like a game we had earlier today, but in that game I was a tempo. Uh, sorry, I was a pawn up. Here, three equal pawns. Hmm. I was thinking queen b6, but bishop b5 is a little bit annoying. Yeah, this position is pretty... Hmm. It's pretty boring. Okay, I'm gonna have to take... Queen b6. I think I have to play like this in order not to be considerably worse. I think realistically I just have to play for a draw here. I missed this. Yeah, he's playing it well. Like, he could have gone rook a5 earlier, but then I get rook c6 with activity. The way he does it now, I'm just tied down. Okay, let's go g5. So I can get this square for the king. And then potentially activate the rook. Oh, 
H3 is a little bit stiff. Uh, that's a clever strategy. He knows I cannot really take a draw. But he's, as I said, like, it's not really improving. I think, I think I'm okay now. Okay. I don't think I'm really worse anymore here. Uh, okay, let's... No, I don't think rook a6 is an issue, so just putting the pawn on a dark square. Let's go f6 and rook c6. Now I've gained the open file, okay. Oh, I thought I could, yeah, I thought I could take on h3, but a6 is hanging, unfortunately. Okay, but I don't think I have a choice. Takes, king d6 back. This ending is rather double-edged. I mean, he does have the, he does have the connected pass pawns, but my pawn seems to be seem to be just as dangerous. So I'll go here, push. And when he stops it with the king, I'll push the other one. Or maybe it's just better now. Ah, uh, maybe I'm not. Bishop b7, what is bishop b7? I mean, he can go king d3, but then I get h2. h2? It's too complicated. d2? This has to win somehow. Yeah, king e3. Bishop g4, a uh, king e2, bishop g4, wins. What a mess. What a mess. But we get a win, which is good. Oh, b6 was a draw? Probably could have won earlier. Yeah, I had the feeling that this was was not bad for me. Uh, I mean, it's a, it was a draw, but now black is much better. Yeah, this is way too complicated.